what is going on youtube all right so i wanted to bring you guys into a product review on a item that i just purchased this is the cool iCam. uh this is manufactured by ion uh, a lot of people look at it as the lower budget uh, ion product but pretty much from my satisfactory of just barely having this for two days i'm already in love with it uh i've owned a gopro and really didn't like it much due to the high fish eye effect and just just the capabilities of the the gopro now i personally ain't trying to do a comparison between this and a gopro there's a lot of videos on youtube that are actually uh, similar to that topic this is more or less a product review of the item which is the cool eye cam sports cam and i haven't took it out to really test it much besides running around the house recording stuff and also in the backyard and things like that but for 60 bucks you really can't go wrong Especially if you want something, you know, within the budget, not wanting to drop a hundred to three hundred, four hundred dollars. Uh, this is high definition. I believe it goes up to, <clears throat> excuse me, ten eighty. Uh, mostly everything that I edit my videos is to a seven twenty HD high definition. I always keep everything, you know, pretty much leveled at a seven twenty. However, you can always upgrade your videos to a 1080 with an editing editing program. I use Sony Vegas Pro for editing my videos. Now, I do want to touch bases with you. When you first get this video cam, you're going to have a few issues with no sound or not being able to transfer your videos to an editing program with the videos being uh coded as a mov now if you're not familiar with that i'm also going to be making a video here soon on what i'm talking about uh but if you are familiar with i'm with what i'm talking about and you end up getting this video cam what you can do to be able to get sound out, uh, be able to hear the sound through your videos and stuff is after you record your video, put it onto your laptop, right click it, go to properties, and where your video title name is, you'll see towards the end it'll be a period MOV or something similar to that. What you do is you change that MOV, you delete that MOV, go caps, uh, AVI. Then you will be able to actually hear uh, the sound. You'll be able to use more than uh, Windows Media Player. You'll be able to transfer your videos onto Sony Vegas or any any editing program. And as I stated, I'll be uh, showing you guys how to do that uh, here soon. I'll make a video on that. So it's really cool. Uh, a lot of people I've seen on YouTube ended up downloading converter programs to be able to convert their videos into a different type of format or a codec kodak or whatever you want to call it uh, but i pretty much figured out this easier way is to right click on your videos i stated go down to properties and change the mov to a avi in caps so anyways uh let's go ahead and jump into the product so what you get with this package uh, this is the cool iCam s3000 and it's pretty basic um, it is waterproof full waterproof so you don't have to get a waterproof case uh you will see a little bit of a fish eye but not as bad as a gopro a lot of people like that fish eye effect i personally don't because it kind of distorts the video in my opinion a lot of people like it because they're like this is an action cam it should have that fish eye effect which makes it look a little more cooler i like you know just a similar plain video flat line as what you're seeing with the uh, this vivitar video cam that i'm using to record this video and so that's just my preference 
uh, what you get with this package, you can see I already purchased the uh, protective care plants, but you do get a one year uh, warranty with it. So if anything was to go wrong with the actual item, uh, they will, the actual company will cover you for a year. Then you can jump into, you know, wherever you purchase your item from, which I purchased off Walmart and I got the three year plan or four year plan. I can't recall which plan it is. Um, so that's one of the good things. You do get a, a one year warranty with this video cam from the company. Um, I'm gonna try not to say um so many times, excuse me for that. Another great thing with the Ion company is they have a numerous amount of different types of accessories and what's cool is you can do uh, a number of different types of accessories. So you can go how you would see with um, the GoPro accessories. You can go that route where you just place one of the GoPro well, it's not necessarily a GoPro. I don't want to get into that topic. But Ion has pretty much the same basics as a GoPro with their attachments. Or you can go standard as uh, any other video camera or camera where you have just a tripod screw. Uh, I like that a lot because, I mean, there's umpteen million different types of accessories you can get to use with just a standard uh, screw. Screw in accessories. As such, this basically give you pretty much a visual of what I'm talking about so just like that and so which is really cool uh, the video cam did come with a bike handlebar mount and you can use this to mount on a rifle or you can purchase their accessory which is mainly for uh, like a rifle mount uh, I have a pretty wild creation in mine so any type of uh, different mounts I get I always end up modifying them to fit my needs so as i did with my kayak i'll be showing you guys that here in a minute and also the other camera that i was using for my kayak that i personally did not like uh it does come with a charging cord i don't like the charging cord much just for the fact that it's really short uh i like longer charging cords just so you know it feels more more su supportive to be able to plug in and have my camera sitting where I want not trying to shuffle stuff off my desk and trying to get my camera you know that close to my laptop uh, we'll jump into the functions of the video cam as I stated this is waterproof uh, you do not have to purchase a waterproof case which is phenomenal I like that a lot however you do get a slight bit of a muffle from the volume or from you know from the, the mic due to the fact that the mic is in the back so there is a bit of a muffle kind of like how you would hear when you have a waterproof case over a camera but it's really not too bad and I'll be showing you guys that here in a minute with some recordings from this uh, what you have is your lock so that keeps it watertight sealed uh, what you do is you basically unlock it and then you just give it a twist taking the cap off I'll try to get you guys in the view here uh, you do have to have an SD micro card and they advise you go 20 megabytes or more if I'm uh, if I'm remembering that correctly if not correct me uh, but yeah so you got to have an SD micro card which does not come with the video camera I had a whole bunch laying around and I went with the highest 35 gig uh, megabytes that I had so and it works phenomenal uh, you have the option between HD or a lower setting, which is WVGA. I personally don't like the WVGA. It's just like a lower standard of recording. Uh, you could probably get some what good uh, pictures with that, but I keep everything high definition. I mean, that's just how everything is now. Everything has to be high def. Uh, what you got here is your charging port where your charger will go then you have a reset button if for some odd reason your video camera freezes up on you or isn't working proper or you want to change the time settings and that's not working then you just hit reset and it pretty much sets it to factory uh, factory the factory settings where everything is just pretty much how you would get it when you opened it out of the box now there's a number of ways to record 
uh, for instance as you guys can see I keep this down on on the actual record and what that does is instead of me having to hold down the camera button to turn the video camera on all I have to do is push up and it immediately records uh, but what you can do is for instance if this is all the way up what you another way to, to turn it on and record is hold this down and then push this down to record so I'll give you guys a visual as I stated you get a cool uh, cool little manual and all the other good stuff as you guys can see here uh, ion cloud you get I forget what it was eight megabytes on the ion cloud which is pretty much like their website and you're able to put your videos on there and save them there you can also do Facebook share and all the other good stuff it's really cool uh, here's the warranty that I was talking about it's a uh, one year parts warranty and a one year labor warranty I hope you guys can see that so that's a really big key with video cameras because electronics always tend to fail no matter what especially when they're in my hands so I really like warranties if it doesn't have a warranty I probably won't get it and the reason for being is I purchased this little guy here off um, online on Amazon for like 35 bucks I know you get what you pay for honestly you really do the quality is crap and it was supposed to be like a high def but it's not this is the sports uh, and I really don't know the actual maker of it. it it serves its purpose honestly it records and that's all that really matters but it came with a waterproof case and when it snowed here in Arizona me and my son decided to uh, well not necessarily decided I actually lost the bet that if it snowed here in Arizona I would jump in the Colorado River big mistake so we ended up jumping in the Colorado River and I tried to record it for you guys using the waterproof case with this video camera and it failed I had to set this bastard in a, a bowl of uh, rice so the Chinese will come and fix it that's just a joke and it's not racial because I'm actually Filipino and I like rice uh, but anyway so yeah that's what I ended up having to do was set this in rice for a few nights until it dried out and it still works but it's not the greatest but anyways we're not even on that so let's go ahead and uh, what do you say turn this guy on let's turn this guy on get it recording and yeah, yeah. so, so it's, it's very a very good, good recorder, recorder. Nice, nice video camera, camera. As I stated, I liked it. When I first got it home, I had a lot of issues just for the fact that I put my first video on my computer and did not hear any sound. And if you're having that issue with this video camera, um, I will make a tutorial on how to fix that problem. It does have a microphone in it and it does record sound no matter what. It's just a matter of changing your um, video format. So let's go ahead and take a walk. <coughs> So as I stated, this video cam uses the same type of mount, basically a screw-on mount. And here's what I had set up for the cheapy camera. It's not the best, but it, like I said, it'll serve its purpose. The video, uh, the eye, the cool eye cam that I'm holding now in my hand is what I'm probably going to be have, having strapped to my head. That way you guys can get a visual of what I see. And this video camera will pretty much just record what's in front of me as I'm kayaking. But I can also put this video cam <clears throat> on this mount because it's a screw on mount. So let's go take a walk outside. Let me give you guys a low light setting. And I'm not going to try to hold steady. I'm just going to pretty much walk as if I was walking. That way you guys can get a visual of everything and see how it looks. Let's get a low light. So here's a low light setting and we'll get even darker in here just to give you guys an actual visual of how it will look. That's pretty much a low light setting. Anything darker than this, you probably wouldn't want to try to record in, honestly. Because this does not have a flash or a light on it. Heading outside, and I also want to do a actual sun test. I haven't put this in direct sunlight. I know a lot of people say don't put your video camera in direct sunlight, but I did it anyways. I have no shoes, and I'm stepping on these rocks. Yeah. Daddy! Hi. 
So let's go ahead and take a walk around the yard. And I'll just give you guys a visual of different settings, different lightings. So, as I stated, I haven't really put this video camera to the test, but we shall see how it does. So, there's your setting. Let's get some action, some moving around. Quick. What you doing? Woof, woof, woof. No? All right, so there's your guys' settings. So, yeah. Very nice video cam. What's up, buddy? <laughs> so stay tuned. I will get you guys in on some uh, action videos. Now that I got an action video camera and I am hurting my feet, so I'm going to cut it here. Much love and respect. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. And as much as I know, I'll be willing to uh, answer you guys' questions. All right. I'm up and out. Peace.